Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. I'm Libby from LibbyStamps.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. Now I saw one of these boxes and saw it just looked like a gold bullion bar and so I decided to try and make one. I actually saw one on Pinterest as well and it just opens up like this so you can put something oh there we go haven't bent that back so you can put something inside that's precious so wouldn't that be a lovely gift for somebody to receive it'd make a great gift for new year or sometime like that uh, christmas engagement wedding uh, you could put a little embellishment on the top and that would finish it off you could tie it up with some ribbon all right so we're going to get started and what i'm going to do is put the template on my blog so that you can see what it looks like there's a bit of scoring and cutting that needs to go on so i thought the template would help you all right, so I'll bring in my card. Now this time I'm going to make it in the champagne foil, which is sadly retiring on the 3rd of January. So if you like it, get in quick and buy it. It's in the current holiday catalogue and only available while stocks last. All right, so what we're going to start with is a piece of card, which is... 8 inches by 8 inches or 20.5 centimeters by 20.5 centimeters now with this foil card don't score on the foil side because you'll end up with scratches you only need a narrow scoring line because it scores quite easily you could use your simply scored and just use the fine tip of your scoring tool i'm just going to use the trimmer today all right so you start off with a piece of card eight inches by eight inches or 20 by 20.5 by 20.5 and i've actually gone ahead and pre-scored mine but i just want to explain a few things as we go so you're going to score at one inch on one side or 2.5 centimeters four inches or 10 centimeters five inches or 12.7 centimeters and seven inches or 17.8 centimeters so you'll do all those score lines then you'll give it a quarter turn and you'll score at one inch or 2.5 centimeters and seven inches or 17.8 centimeters and then you're going to score i've got this round the wrong way there we are then you're going to score just down to this second line here so if you flip it over you can see i've got score marks just down to this second line so you're going to score just down to the second line at one and a half inches or 3.8 centimeters which is pretty close to four centimeters and so just down to that second line and you're going to score again at six and a half centimeters six and a half inches sorry or uh, 16.3 centimeters just down to that second line all right so that's all the scoring that we need our scoring tool for we're going to do some cutting so we'll get our snips and we're going to cut so it looks like the template you're going to cut up here and try and keep them as straight as you can and all the way up cut that off And then the same on the other side. Hey, if you wanna play, they get about... All right, 
like that. Two little um, tabs here. It'll take creation, imagination. Now this is the top that goes inside the box. So I'm just going to mitre off those two corners a little bit. So I didn't take much off. Just a whisker. So that's that part done so far. And then we just need to take these two end corners off. So that's what we've got so far. All right, now these bits here, we can just go in and cut to the first line just there. So you've got one score line, two score lines. So you're just going to cut there. And then I'm just going to take half an inch and cut into the point. So again on this side, half an inch and cut into the point. All right, and the same on the other side. We're looking pretty good so far. Now, all the rest is scoring. So you're going to put a mark at half an inch here and here and join it up to these points. Turn half an inch here and here, join it up to the points. Join that up to the point. You're right there. Join this one up to the point, half an inch, half an inch, join to the point, half an inch, join to the point. All right, now when you've got that, you're going to score it. And I just brought in my mat, my stamp and pierce mat, not the one I use for stamping on. And you're just going to join all those points that you marked. And you can do it with your scoring tool. I just did it in pencil so you could see what I was doing. And you just go around then with your ruler and your scoring tool and join those points up. So you'll be able to shop for all these supplies on my online store and I'll, I'll leave the link in the comments below. And this would make a lovely gift box for somebody special. And I know it seems like a bit of work, but it's a bit unusual, this box. It's not like your normal boxes that you get. And it's well worth the work. That's my dog barking. She's been barking all morning. And then this is our last one. All right, so your box should now look like that and then all you need to do is bring in your bone folder and you're going to burnish all those score lines Now, on my template, you'll notice I've got A and B. They turn over and you join A to B. And it'll be a mitered corner like that. Then I've got A1 and B1 and they're the same as the other side. So you join them up as a mitered corner. Then I've got D, C and D. Same again, mitered corner. C1 and D1 mitered corner and they're all the joins you need to make. Now because it's uh, foil, if you used liquid adhesive you'd have to sit here for ages waiting for it to dry. You could use fast fuse, fine tip glue pen but just today for the sake of the video I'm using tear and tape and you only need to put it on one edge. Destiny, require every dream to believe, take the chance, leave it. 
the dance and run with what is in your heart. Now, if this looks like it's something you would like to do and earn a little bit of extra money for your household or for your crafting budget, think about joining. I love my job. Not really a job when you can create pretty things. So I'll leave the link for that in the comments as well. And I'll leave the link. Contact me if you would like more information. I'm in Australia, so if you'd like to sign up with me, that'd be lovely. I've got uh, Crafty Hours Facebook group. Crafty Hours is my team. And I upload videos for training. So we're just going to press that in. We have daily posts on our page. We have challenges. I do hold training days for those who can come or we can do it online live. All right, so we're just going to go around and and don't forget there's the year on year end sales at the moment. So lots of bargains to be had there while stocks last. And as I said, I'll put the shop button in the comments down the bottom so join them up okay and join that up so you're just bending that in and joining it joining it up so you've got a nice mitered corner and then I find if I go around and just push all the inside ones to the side that just helps keep it a bit flatter and then our box is done so just push in the sides and down the front and then we've got our box all right so there's our champagne box and there's our gold bar box that's it. open closed and the template i'll put the template on my blog and all the measurements so make sure you visit my blog to see close-up photos and more information. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for stopping by. Bye for now. Yes, you can. What's the plan? Come on, let's do this and do it now. I want to hear.